On today's ProPresenter show brought to you by ChurchTechU.com, why you should not use ProPresenter's live video feature to put live video on your screen. Hi, I'm Paul Allen Clifford from uh, TrinityDigitalMedia.com, where you can find hours of church tech tutorials just like this one, courses in my exclusive community, ChurchTechU.com, because ministry loves company. One of the questions I get over and over and over again is how to use the live video feature in ProPresenter. I always advise against using it. The right way to do it is to take the output of ProPresenter and send that into a video switcher. The reason you don't want to use ProPresenter like a video switcher is latency. According to an article I found on Wikipedia, look for the link below in the show notes, the standard for latency between audio and video for broadcast television is 45 milliseconds or about one to one and a half frames at 30 frames a second. It also said that most people don't notice lag until 100 milliseconds or more, which is about 3.3 frames. So I thought I'd do a little test. I created a three minute counter in Final Cut 10 and exported it as a 30 frame per second video. Next, I brought that into ProPresenter 6 and put it onto the slides layer so I could resize it. Then, I added my Logitech C615 webcam and put it right next to the countdown aiming it at the counter on the screen. As a result, I had a video of the counter showing right next to the counter itself. Now, I just took some screenshots, shut down ProPresenter and restarted it again, taking some more screenshots to make sure the results were the same. As you can see, there were discrepancies of between 6 and 8 frames. Keep in mind that this is with a brand new 2017 Core i5 2.3 GHz MacBook Pro with 8 gigs of RAM and an SSD. Perhaps it's possible to get better results, but for most churches, this is about the best you can hope for. So, using the live video on the screen, you're going to have about 200 milliseconds of lag which is twice as much as when most people would start to notice, and four times as much as standard in broadcast. So, for the occasional baptism or children's choir performance, this might be okay. But, for your entire service, this is probably just too much. Now, to show you what this much latency looks like with a person... I'm going to intentionally put my video seven frames out of sync with the audio. Watch what happens when I clap. And what happens when I move my hands. Notice the picture-in-picture box that shows what it's like in real time versus delayed. So I hope you see now why I don't want you to use ProPresenter's live video function to show video live on the screen. If you like this tutorial, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell icon on YouTube to make sure you hear about my videos when they come out. If you'd like to take one of my ProPresenter mini courses for free, go to tdm.fyi slash pro the number six, mini, M-I-N-I, and sign up for the mini course of your choice for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com. Go out and change eternity.